y'all. Let me put some lip gloss on first. So I won't be talking y'all with no dry lips. I miss y'all so much. If you're new here, my name is Kia. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're coming out today. If you are already subscribed, hey girl, hey. So, hi y'all. <laughs> I'm smiling, I'm cheesing. I'm so happy to get back on here. Like, I had like a two month mental breakdown and I'm really gonna tell y'all what happened to me within these last two months. And it's just so freaking insane because I miss y'all so much. Like I really, truly and honestly miss y'all so freaking much. It's currently February the 18th. It's 11.35 p.m. I'm filming this at night because I get a really nice vibe in my room at night. So the last time I talked to y'all, it was a day, it was Christmas day. So I haven't posted in a month, but I've been gone for two months. I filmed, but the footage that I filmed was such trash all over the place. I was in two spots the entire video um and I mean I had like at least a three hour video and I was sitting in the same spot so yeah so I had to scrap all that footage and say let's start over let's get the girls what the girls want so we're here today uh so Christmas after Christmas all that happened was me and my boo <laughs> like it's just a whole thing. So I'm loving the space I'm in in my dating life. So I've been kind of MIA. And even he said, he was like, you said you're a vlogger. You never pick up your camera. And I'm like, I don't want to pick up my camera because I don't want to, one, scare you off. And two, I don't really want to expose them to what I'm doing right now in this very moment. Like, I kind of want to keep this. Like, this is something precious to me. And I feel like I want to kind of keep this away from social media until we establish what this is. But y'all ain't come here for that. Been doing a lot of short form, short form content. I made a new Instagram for the people that's probably trying to figure out where I'm at and can't message me. I have a new Instagram. It's the same name. It's just that I gave my old page to Mason. Technically, it's not really a page for Mason. It's just so that I can keep all my pictures and videos that's archived on that account. I had two deaths in the family. I'm going to talk about this very briefly because I don't want to cry. Back to back like in a week span. It was my cousin and her daughter. Her daughter passed away first and then she passed away. We were already anticipating my cousin passing away, but my little cut, well, I won't say she's my little cousin because she's older than me, but my other cousin, which is her daughter, we all grew up together. So she was, you know how you have your group of cousins that you kind of like, y'all cling together? That's, she was a part of that group. And I really am sad and I, I almost cried earlier when I filmed this, so I'm not gonna talk about it much longer. Just know I had two deaths in the family. Uh, what else, what else happened, what else happened? I just, I've been chilling, y'all. I've been chilling. I got a new bed. Um, This is the bed that was supposed to be, y'all know, if you don't know, I was supposed to be moving. Didn't end up moving in the time frame that I thought. So I bought this bed and I was like, let me take this bed out of this box before I don't like the bed, before I can even use the bed. I love it. Got a new vanity. She's cute. Redid my closet. We're working on the room. But I'm actually going to Houston. Not this weekend. This weekend is my cousin's funerals. Um, the week after that I'm going to Texas. So howdy baby. And let's talk about it. Beyonce dropped a country. Two country singles. I'm going to Houston, Texas. It's going down, okay? Things have been just going, and I'm gonna bring y'all back along my journey. I know I've been talking for a long time. I decided, like, I quit YouTube for two months. I had a whole mental breakdown. I'm back, okay? So, yeah. Hey, y'all, so I'm back home. And as y'all see, I went and got my suitcase from Belk. I need to wash my sheets. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I ended up packing what I do have. Two things have to go back. I'm always looking at this same area, but I swear to God, like, I have not been doing anything. And the car, like, something's going on with the car where the mechanic was supposed to come and fix it. He been ducking and dodging. So now I gotta contact my brother so he can call him. Because, baby, who is you ducking and dodging, baby? Because why does the sound, car sound like that it's so loud y'all if i was to literally try to go and vlog with y'all in the car it is terrible so like i said we're going either i think we're going to dinner and a movie tonight um i asked him did he want to go bowling he's like i don't like the bowl he's so child anyways but 
Um, well, I think we're going to a dinner and a movie tonight. So I'm just gonna slowly get ready and film. I cleaned up and organized my drawers and then I bought this long black dress. Not dress, but skirt. It's just a fitted skirt. I got a 2X in this and I really need, can you see me? I got a 2X in this dress and I really, really need a extra large, which is crazy because I didn't know how it was gonna fit. I didn't know if it was gonna be super tight. Like I can still wear it, but I feel like an extra large will really suit me how I want to. I like the way this feel. But I'm going to have to have on like shapewear. And I don't really want to have to wear that with this. Because if we go out during the day in this. And I have to use the bathroom. I want to be able to quickly be able to go to the bathroom. That's the beauty of having a skirt. But when you have a skirt and you have shapewear on. You better not damn that pissed on yourself by the time you can get everything off. So I just decided that I don't want to do this. I would rather it be an extra large. I got packages. Today is... Tuesday. Oh, and they heavy too. First of all, the first package is my boots. They have to work. They just have to work, okay? But this, these are my shoes for the rodeo. Y'all know I love silver. This ain't nothing new to y'all. Especially the ones that's been here. For the people that's probably just getting here, that's probably new to y'all. But I got these cowboy boots and I feel like they're something that I will wear. Even if, like, say for instance, they have a rodeo theme or something, these will be boots I would, wouldn't mind grabbing. But I do need to get some more boots because obviously the girls are into country now, baby. Beyonce has converted us to country girlies. I think. And I can fit them. I got a size 11. They are a little bit big. But not too big and actually very comfortable. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait. Y'all see my cowboy hat back there. I feel like my hat not sparkling as much as I would want it to. But I'm not mad at it. Like it's not OD in it. And I also have a belt. So these shoes are definitely going there. They worked out perfectly. I just texted the group chat because when we went to a Crafty Crab on Friday, um, last Friday, we was all discussing how we didn't think my stuff was going to be here and we was hoping it was going to be here. So, yeah. These were a staple in what I needed. So, I can now pack my clothes for the trip because I have my stuff. I had ended up ordering a few jumpsuits from Amazon. I ordered this one. This one has to go back. I ordered this watch. It has to go back. It's not gold enough. It's like, if y'all can tell, these are two different goals. This bracelet is more of a gold, and this is like a... I don't know. It looks cheap. It look, It just looks really, really cheap. So I'm taking that back. I wouldn't suggest that. So I'm not even going to tag that. But this is a bodysuit. Um, I have about two. I bought three of them. One of them isn't coming until I get back. Um, and that's why I bought a few of them. So I have, you know, options and stuff like that. Come here, too. Want to get on the bed? So yeah, so I have options. This one came in came with a built-in bra, and it's just way too like I'm sure I could squeeze into this. I'm sure, and I'm sure it'll be super compressive. I might keep it. I don't know, but my thoughts are to take it back because I already got one that looked just like that, literally. But let's see what we got from Fashion Nova. I already see that mama stuff. So this is baby mama stuff. We had both ordered stuff, but it was no point of both of us doing an order when one person was already doing one. So she bought this skirt. I ain't gonna open her stuff. I'm gonna let her open it. But she got a skirt and a top. And I ended up getting a bunch of black. Y'all know my CeeLo. Y'all know my vibe. So I ended up getting this, which is a jumps. No, this is a dress. This is for work because um, we're going back into the office Monday and we cannot, we have to dress professional. So I had to get a few things for work. So this is just a black long dress that I could throw like a blazer on top of or something like that. I ended up getting this blazer. I needed a black blazer. I didn't have one. I think that's all I was, put, I was expecting today. I'm glad everything came. I also got this vest, which is cute. This vest would be really cute for the rodeo too. Ooh, okay so i got that vest and that's for work honestly because i got some work pants to go with it too so that's for work but i'm gonna put like a white shirt under it you know make it more business e so that was it in that first packet wait nope it wasn't hold on i got one more thing 
which is another shape wear. But they said it fit real loose. So I ended up getting an extra large in this one too. Because they said it fit like underwear. So I ended up getting an extra large in this. This honestly feels like the Skims Smoothing Collection. This is how the shorts look. And that when I first got the Skims Smoothing Collection, I was like, what the hell? What What is this that I done spent X amount of money on? But really, it it works. I'm trying to clean up mess so it won't be a big, big, big mess. Because I got to go back to work in 10 minutes. Next. Oh, that's why they sign it separately because of this damn jacket. I ended up getting a trench coat. It's cream and black and it's really good quality. Well, I like this. This is real like professional. Let me make sure these arms fit because baby, I got some juicy arms. Oh yeah. Baby, it's over. I could wear a mini skirt. A little black dress with that, baby. And then I got another bra, which I feel like is too big the cup size is bigger so i got this bra make it work it could be a push-up bra or it could be like a hot to top you can like adjust it how you want it and then i got a shirt yeah this is just a long sleeve black shirt it's ripped so it's very see-through um Then I ended up getting a bandeau. Bandeau, I should have got a small size. I got an extra large. This still don't feel like it's compressive enough. I feel like a large would be better. Uh, then I got another bra. I just needed bras. I don't have one bra that I could fit. I've thrown away all of my bras. This one also feel like it's, it's big. But you should hold the girls how I need them. <laughs> Then I ended up getting this skirt, so I might end up doing this black skirt, high waisted, with that vest, with my boots. That probably will eat. I need to try this stuff on, honestly. Do y'all see my hair? Y'all remember, we are in year end September, October, November, December, January, February, six months. So this is a year and six months of growth. When my hair is wet, it shrinks up so bad. I have true 4C hair. So I like to blow it out before I get in front of y'all. Cause girl, anything other than that, it, it look a mess. So <laughs> it don't look a mess. It's just that it's not your average. It's just, I'm not comfortable in that style. Like, let me not say that. Cause I've been on camera like that and everything. It's not that I'm not comfortable. It's just, I like for you to really see my length. I love the beauty of my hair that it coils up. But I love to see the length and see how far along my journey I am. So this segment of my maintenance vlog is going to be my hair. Mason is in the tub at the moment. I was going to wait for my mom to break my hair down. Because y'all see my mama got my hair growing like this. Um, outside of me like not touching it, of course, having wigs on consistently and protective styles is definitely my mom I can think because she has a big hand in it by plaiting my hair up and keeping it together. I'm currently trying to set up my camera for TikTok because y'all know the vibes, okay? We got to get this content on all platforms, baby mama. I just got off the phone with her. She just got her hair done and she made me get up because I promise y'all I was not in the mood. I told her, I said, baby, I don't feel like it. She said, my get up. So, this is the wig. I got it from Amazon. And it's a 13, true 13 by 6 frontal unit. Yes, they sell these on Amazon. You just got to find it. Um, it's super thick all the way to the ends. Really good hair. First, I'm going to go in and color the actual wig. 
I usually use the Smashbox on my hair and it always blends in really good and I get the number four is medium dark. Um, Naturally Sunny put me up on this uh, because we sort of like the same complexion and when I see her like makeup routine, eats, eats down honey. So I decided to get this because of her and it's been working for my lace ever since because I'm running low on it so I've been using it on like my lace and stuff. Got it on the back of my hand. Hot combing back. So just hot comb the hair back. As y'all see, my hair is done. The hair is amazing. It's so freaking long. This is a true 30 inch. Um, I have a 30 inch, 13 by six lace wig from um, the company down in the, in the description box. So if y'all are interested, definitely go check them out. I think that it's definitely worth it. My hair looks good. It looks good. Like I haven't had a straight a bone straight long wig like this in so long so now i'm done filming tiktoks as of right now i was supposed to film me packing um uh, but y'all seen how that went very chaotic i do have to go in my bag again so i might take everything out and film it again i might not i don't know i should do a pack with me um the last time i went out of town i definitely did one so i should do it but as of right now, the hair looks good. The lace looks good. Um, and the part look good. I'm going to put a little concealer or a little foundation inside of the part so that I can make sure. Make sure and go sit down. If I can find my freaking... I am going to take a little bit of this foundation and put it in my part honestly i don't want to do it until i go there because my freaking foundation brush that i usually do this with is in that bag i packed everything y'all i ain't want to leave nothing behind because it's one thing not doing it while you home but not doing it while you um while you're actually there is crazy Okay. That looks a lot better. It's not the best, but it looks a lot better. Really good, honestly, y'all. If I would suggest a wig, it would be this one. For sure. The hair is very soft. We'll see how it holds up. And what else? What else? What else? That's pretty much it. Yeah, so now it's time to do my nails. I'm going to do my nails with y'all. I'm not going to do my nails on TikTok because TikTok has seen me do my nails before. Recently, actually. So, yeah, like I said, we are going to go ahead and do that. Um, my nails. So, I use this thing right here, which is a, um, like, a light. I need to get a bigger one because this only does, like, oh, shit. It only does a few um, fingers. I'm also taking this. This is why I need to open my suitcase again because I need to put my light inside of my suitcase and I need to put 
my flat irons and my um hot comb i don't know how the lighting gonna be in there and stuff like that so what does that sound I also need to put this in my hair bag because just in case I need to take that wig off real quick and, and put it back on. I want to be able to have that option, baby. Then um, I end up using this X coat and the Kiss Max Speed. So this is the final look. I got my hair done. I put this Mia Copa hat on, girl. I can't believe they named that movie after Mia Copa. This girl sell beanies. I was like, ain't that the name of the beanie girl? But anyway, child. Um, I ended up doing my hair. I really don't even have to have this beanie on, child. I just wanted to see what it was gonna look like on my head. Here are my nails. These are them done. I have a few pieces of glue stuck on my finger. But these are what they look like done. And this is why I don't go get my nails done no more. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I did. It's giving. That's your finger. That's your finger. <laughs> I hope that wasn't wrong to say. It's definitely giving. It's your finger. Your finger crooked. And if you know, you know. But I'm not mad. Because it really is my finger. Look at my finger. My finger go that way. And when it's straight, it ain't my finger. So. If they come off, they come off and I'll redo it. If not, I'm not going to force it off because typically I will force these off. Just my anxiety, my anxiety be getting the best of me. And sometimes I tend to like bite my nails. That's why I bite my nails. Um, so if it, if that's the case, then I'll fix them. Cause like I said, I'm bringing this just in case. Um, and also what else? That's pretty much it, y'all. The hair feels amazing. It's so flowy, like, it's not stiff at all, girl. Look, the hair ain't stiff at all, baby. It's really good. This is a good brand. I would definitely suggest. So, um, I'm definitely going to, I'm about to just unwind. I need to take a shower. We just got out of the shower. Um, I've already done my hair. When I do my hair, I get an instant facelift, and I love it. Like, without my hair, I'm still a baddie. Don't get it twisted. But I feel like I have an instant facelift with um, my wigs on. So, I really think I'm going to be getting a facelift. Just to make it still look this good, okay? Come my 35s and 40s. And <laughs> no, I was just playing. But we leave for Houston tomorrow um, after work. Everybody going to work and then we're going to Houston. So, that's going to be super fun. I have to put... So, ladies... Tell me if 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 y'all do this. So I do use Dove on my um, underarms, and I have two separate ones. And then I use Suave Dove, whatever. I have an extra deodorant and or an old deodorant that I used to use under my arm. When it get real low, I like to use it under my stomach because I, it's no secret my stomach kind of hangs. Um, y'all probably don't see it as much, but I'm sure y'all have seen it once or twice. Maybe three or four times. Shoot. Um, after, well, I used to be very, very heavy set, and then I lost a lot of weight, and my skin was always kind of, you know, it just didn't snap back how it should have at 20 something years old. It's just that I had got too big and it got too stretched out. And I feel like it's also uh, genetics. Then I ended up going. Um, I got pregnant with my son and even when I was pregnant my stomach never round out now my professional pictures the the photographer actually edited them to make them look more appealing I have extra skin and I like to put deodorant under that area my fupa fupa just so that it doesn't musk because even if 
like I can as long as I dry that area off after I get out the shower I'm good but a lot of the times if I sweat that area will sweat too and it just it's not pleasant we all know what sweat brings okay so especially if you don't deodorize it so I try to put something there um, just so that I don't have that problem and it's been working for me when I don't use it I really know I didn't use it like I'd be like oh I didn't use it so I try to use it before we get to a point where it's out of control and you need to take a shower so um some women deal with it some women don't but I'm here to just for the women that do deal with it I'm here to tell you little deodorant won't hurt baby and even I asked my OBGYN during my pregnancy if it was okay and she was like yeah as long as it's not the same one you put under your arm because those are two different bacteria. so I got it from an OBGYN baby don't come for me okay so, and she was a heavier set lady, so she understood. And I also asked my regular nurse, because I had two different nurses during my um, pregnancy. So, yeah, anyways, I came here to say um, I'm about to do my skincare. I've been laying off the tread annoying until I come back from Houston, because I don't need my face breaking out. Like, not now. Like, I need clear skin. Clear skin. And right now, my skin is doing so good. I got, like, one little pimple right here. But y'all know when you do your hair, baby, your skin clear up. It just happens. I don't know. Don't blame me. Blame the message. Don't blame the messenger. Blame God. Because that's what happens. When you get your hair done, I'm telling you, your acne scars, they go away. They go away. They go away. They go away. They fade. They get a little bit lighter, okay? So... I'm gonna go in with high. Oh, what's this glow recipe water? I mean, this is the glow recipe watermelon dew drops. Um, and it's the niacinamide. Niacinamide. I might be saying that wrong. And I also have this robe on. This robe came from Jada Waiter. Um, Jada Chivas. Little baby, baby mama. <laughs> this came from her website. When she had some drop, it was like a lavender drop. Um, I ended up getting this, the socks. I think y'all remember, and I had got the shoes too. I think that was when I first started my job, to be honest. Um, and y'all know it's been a, it's a, April makes a year that I've been at my job. We're going into March. It's crazy. It's been a year. So since I transitioned from that last job to this job, and I've been here ever since, and I love it here, and I just, see so many opportunities for me here and I really want to stick with it we are going back into the office I think I told y'all in the last vlog but we're going back into the office and I'm super excited about that because that means I get to dress up so I did order some things so when I come back Monday I'm gonna be fine because <laughs> I did order some things I still have some things that I need to pack um which I was gonna pack tomorrow because really truly I don't need to get dressed up for the airport um we're leaving at six but we don't land till 12 o'clock in the morning and we probably by the time we get the car pack the car get to the airbnb get unpacked and stuff it's probably gonna be like 1 30 2 o'clock something like that so, so i went in with the not nice cinema now i'm going in with the aqua four for around my eyelids because my eyelids get so freaking dry I'm going to go in with just some moisturizer, which is going to be the Belief Moisturizer. I do need to pack some things in my skincare bag. I'm actually about to go through that stuff and whatever I don't use anymore, because it's a lot of products that I do not use anymore. I'm going to clean those out, rinse those out, and put the products that I actually use inside of there. So that'll be like... I have a mini size of this. I don't have a mini size of this, but I think I have some of this in my skincare bag. I need some of my vitamin C in my skincare bag. And I also need my... Let me see if it's under three ounces. Because I might have to just take the whole thing. I think I don't think it's three ounces, is it? 17 ounces. Mmm yeah so i can't say that so i need to yeah i need to put some of that skincare into my travel size skincare because it's a lot of stuff in that bag that i do not use anymore and i just need to go through it and kind of figure that out so
all of that stuff is definitely necessities. I'm going to put my fan in here too. Mm-hmm. So this doesn't have to go. And then I'm going to put some lip balm in here because I didn't see any lip balm. And I like to have lip balm. In oh, I do. It's the Laneige. I'm going to take a few of these skincare pads. I don't know what this is. And I, I know I don't want this. So I'm going to rinse these two out. All right, y'all, so now that I'm done packing everything, the only thing I have left is like this little small area of things here. Um, it's just like my jewelry, my light. I might bring my light. I think I should bring my light. This is why I should have bought a portable light. But I'm going to see, once I get the address, because I got to ask, I don't know who actually um, put the reservation in for the Airbnb. I'm going to see if I can Amazon one over. Hopefully it's one same day, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. But I definitely want to, um, I got to put that stuff in that bag. And then my clothes that I'm wearing tomorrow are hanging on the door. So I'm ready to go. I'm excited. I'm just, I'm going to go to bed. Well, I'm about to go to bed. I keep saying finna. I'm about to go to bed. Mason's over there sleeping already. And I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow when we get in the car. Because there's no point in me picking up the camera tomorrow. I'm really going to work. And then as soon as I get off of work, I'm going to baby mom house so yeah see y'all tomorrow bye <laughs>